All right, good evening everybody. It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's vlogs. Here to talk about the East Division of the Big Ten Conference for the 2016 college football season. For this vlog, I'm going to give you a preview of the Maryland Terrapins. Now last season, Randy Etzel had a terrible year as head coach. Was his last year was actually fired, leading the team to just a 3-9 and nine overall record. I think things are going to turn things around with new head coach T, uh, DJ uh, Durden. Durgin. I think he has pretty good ideas and he's been doing a pretty decent job as far as the recruitment process and they did pick up a great transfer at running back and Trey Edmonds coming from Virginia Tech. Started his career at Virginia Tech and as a true freshman he had 675 yards on the ground including a huge 77 yard touchdown run against the Alabama Crimson Tide and you know how good their defense is. He decided um, had to deal with some injuries during his career as a Hokie then he transferred to Maryland and I wish the best for him. He should be the starting running back or at least get some split in time at carries because their leading rusher, Brandon Ross, is no longer with the team. Now, at quarterback, Perry Ellis is going to have to do a better job throwing the football. He threw double-digit interceptions and single digits in touchdown passes. That is not going to get cut out for um, this upcoming season. He passed for just over 1,000 yards passing, and they do have the return of receivers, of their top receivers, Laverne and Moore, and I think they have a decent tandem, an okay tandem at wide receiver, but they need the quarterback who could deliver the football. Now, Perry Ellis actually did a pretty good, Perry Hill, I'm sorry. Uh, he um, actually uh, did a pretty good job of running the football, second in the team in rushing. But he needs to do a better job as far as throwing the football this upcoming season. Now, the true story is on the defensive side for Maryland, and they have a stud at cornerback in Will Likely. He was a first team All Big Ten performer as a return specialist and second team as a cornerback. During his career, he had 26 pass breakups thus far, and he could have actually came out for the 2000. 17 NFL draft due to a poor record last season, but he did decide to say as a June as a um, for another season, and he has an opportunity to raise his draft status as the one of the premier uh, um, cornerbacks entering the 2017 NFL draft. Now he is undersized a little bit, very much at six foot at five seven, 168 pounds. Yes, he is undersized, but he definitely has great technique to close into the football. That is a major concern at first you actually probably see him as a second round pick but because of that height I really see him as a fourth round selection now other than will likely there's not that many like really big key players as big as likely but he is the true story of this Maryland Terrapin team he is the best overall player the most versatile player he's going to be used as a return specialist maybe sometimes on offense but definitely on, on first team defense now, for this record, for this upcoming season for the Terps, I see them actually improving a couple of games, especially the first four games. They should win the first four games in the season before heading into Big Ten play against Penn State. And it gets tough later on as the season progresses, but I think they have a chance of beating Penn State and um, Purdue as well as... Um, Indiana, so I think this team can go for a five and seven overall record, an improvement for TJ Jurgen, and then try to get things together in 2017 season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have a couple more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man Keem McCall. Be easy.